Neil Isaacs, the Raleigh Business Broker, coming to you with another quick tip for business owners, for business, really just for business owners. Normally, we talk to business owners, buyers, and advisors. This one is just for business owners. Business owners, be mindful of the stage that you're at in your business. A quick story, when I moved in to, when we were looking for our home, our next home, my wife and I, years ago, our real estate broker told us, look, I know you think this is going to be your forever home, but you're going to only going to live here for five to seven years. You're going to move. And we're like, no, this is our forever home. And we moved in six years. She knew the market. She knew the trends of home buyers. Uh, at the time, we were newly married. She knew we would be having kids. Uh, she knew our family would be growing. She just seen it a million times. I see the same thing with business owners. I'm going to run this business forever. This is my forever business. And, and that's what I said when I started my first business. I'm so excited. I'm going to do this forever. I sold within about seven years later. That is the trend. That is what that is the life cycle of business owners. Now, there's another trend that happens with business owners, and it's the burnout trend. And that happens definitely by year 10. People don't sell by year 10. They just kind of do it forever or until the business closes. These 20, 30-year-old business owners, some of them are, are, are extremely passionate. A lot of them just kind of got stuck doing what they were doing, and they just keep doing it because it's the only thing they know how to do. So here's here's my point. There's these two trends that that we see here is that business owners kind of reach their their ceiling and business owners get get burnt out and they don't or can't move on and there's the same thing with value. And a lot of the business owners that come to see us, they are past that point. They're over the maximum value that they can make their business go and it's starting to decline. Because they they've lost the passion, they they didn't adapt. There's some reason why the business stopped growing. It's reached the peak and it's on the downslide. When we do our valuations, when we take businesses to market, if we take declining businesses to market, they get beat up big time. Much 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 more difficult to sell a business on the decline than one that is is on the way up. Think about the life cycle that you are in with your business. Don't get lost in the irrational exuberance that you're going to do this forever. And that and that's applies to myself as well with with my with my first business. And it's just something to think about for business owners. If you're on the way up, you might want to think about your options for exit now. It's better now than when you're on the way down. Your options for exit will be extremely limited in a declining business. If you don't have the capacity, the veracity, the energy, if you fear your market is changing, we talk with business owners and in industries that are on the decline and they saw it coming and they just didn't do anything about it. Now's the time to pivot. You could just change your business and adapt it or you could sell it. So these are the conversations that we have with business owners. It's a tough conversation. I wish that business owners came to me on the way up. Very, very few have that proactivity. They're, made, they're making so much money, they're, that's the last thing they're thinking about. That's the best time to think about your options for exit. This is Neil Isaacs, the Raleigh Business Broker. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Put them in the chat down below, or if it's something specific to your business, direct message me. Everything we do is confidential. Until next time, mahalo.